about one third of the species in the ocean uh, are associated with coral reefs. And they are under stress for several reasons, but two of the most important reasons are the rising temperature of the ocean surface water, which causes the coral to expel their symbiotic algae, uh, which they need in order to live, and the acidification of the ocean. As the ocean becomes more acid, the animals that have carbonate shells or carbonate skeletons uh, <coughs> cannot, they're severely affected. And as it becomes too acid, it dissolves the uh, carbonate, so they can't live. So for a variety of reasons, we argue that if we want to keep a planet that looks like the one that has existed the last 10,000 years, we, would, we should be aiming to keep carbon dioxide less than 350 parts per million. And in the paper that we've just finished, the one that's attached to uh, these lawsuits against the different governments, we show that this, we, we can quantify very accurately the reduction in CO2 that you would need to make in order to stabilize climate, stabilize the planet's energy balance. Because this imbalance, if the planet's out of balance by half a watt, you would need to reduce CO2 from the current 390 ppm to about 360 ppm. And if it's uh, out of balance by three quarters of a watt, which is probably closer to the truth, it, the last six years it's six tenths of a watt, then you'd have to go back to 345. Uh, so there's this huge gap between the rhetoric of what governments say and reality. It's what I call uh, greenwash. <laughs> and the issue here is one of intergenerational uh, injustice. My, uh, uh, I now have two more grandchildren, my son's children. Uh, Jake is, uh, He's a gentle giant. He's in the top 1% for his size, for his age. And he, according to the charts, he'll probably be about two meters tall. But uh, so he, my parents lived to be about 90 years old. So that my <coughs> new grandchildren will probably be around for most of this century. Uh, and uh, Jake likes to think that he can protect his new baby sister, who's just two and a half days old. And, took this photo. But the problem is that it's not going to be in the hands of these young people if we don't get on a different path very quickly. <coughs> and uh, I, the, the basic problem <coughs> is that fossil, as long as fossil fuels are the cheapest energy, we will keep using them. Any, any schemes for uh, slowing down emissions or any actions you take to reduce your individual emissions it, are not going to work as long as fossil fuels are the cheapest energy because somebody else will burn them. 